Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about Ready to Love, the finale. Hey, before we get into it, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the episode. And since we're at the finale, make sure y'all go through the whole playlist and see where we started from episode one and now where we are right now in the finale. Also, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And I think with your help, we can get there. Thank you. Let's get to it, Blair. We start off at a brunch with all the remaining guys and ladies. Brunch time. Marie doesn't know who to choose between Kat and Jessica. He's sure. having brunch with Kat and uh, they're having conversations. Jessica and Q are sitting. Q is saying that he thinks him and Janelle's connection is immaculate. It is. It is. Nephew Tommy pops in and tells everyone there that he thinks they're ready to love. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> and this week is about making a life changing decision about choosing the person that you have a connection with or choosing yourself. Mm -hmm. And the challenge for the week is for the ladies to introduce the men to their family. Okay, okay, okay. Family time. Yes. Uh, Janelle and Quentin are talking still at the brunch. And Janelle is a bit nervous. Mm. Just about love and putting her trust into someone else. She's a bit nervous about that. My champion got little butterflies in her stomach. Yeah. That's all love. Phil and Aries talk. Um, Aries' dad passed away and she's just on edge emotionally. She's being intentional um, about her and Phil's connection, but mm -hmm. the concerns she's bringing up are real about his stability. Is it real? For her, yeah. I'm about to say, is it real? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, Quentin is meeting Janelle and her cousin Courtney. Okay. Q says they don't think about age. The cousin brings that up. Is that being a concern? Because Q's 34, Janelle's 41. Mm-hmm. He says uh, the only thing he has to think about is kids, and, and he would like to have three kids. I'll start right there. As a man, I think it's crazy to say how many kids you want to have. I don't know what it is. I think you can only hope for one, um, but ultimately, it's not our bodies. It's not our decision. <laughs> Sometimes, it's not even a woman's decision. It's God's decision, you know, if, mm -hmm. if, if God blesses with a kid. And I don't know if I would use that so much as a... Um, as a standard to meet mm -hmm. in a relationship, mm -hmm. like I want three kids. Well, we birth them. You, <laughs> like, like it, it, it's 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 a wild to me. It's a wild request mm -hmm. to um to put on someone that you feel a connection with who's forty one. Yeah, it is. I think that it's fair to say like this is kind of what I would like. This is how I would see my family, but ultimately whatever we're blessed with is is fine enough for me um but if that's like a deal breaker for you wanting to have three kids and the other person either can't or doesn't want to mm -hmm. that like you said that's unfair to put on somebody yeah go ahead so janelle is willing to have at least one uh she's talking to her cousin after q leaves mm -hmm. and this was the first time he's ever brought up like the number of children she's saying if he wants to have three kids we need to be starting on that like tomorrow yeah hey, rumor has it that they said y'all started but guess what this not the rumor mill this is my champion mm. and one thing that um janelle and quentin mm. said that truth be told the only people that really brought up the difference in the age is everybody else yeah they said like they don't really think about it themselves and they don't really um what's the word see it as a hindrance mm -hmm. um it's just something to navigate um but so far so good I feel like this was a good date. Nothing that we really learned that we didn't already know. Mm -hmm. um, except maybe more specifics when it comes to how many kids that uh, he wants. Yeah. You know, but, but you know, like, usually, like, you have that one kid and you'd be like, uh, I think I'm going to stop. <laughs> so, who who knows? Continue. Next, we have Kat and her cousin Monica. Yeah. They are meeting Marie. Mm-hmm. Kat shares that Marie has one child. Monica, she is very animated. I really liked her personality. I thought she was pretty funny. And who's Monica again? Kat's cousin. Okay. Yeah. Monica says she's too... Kat is cute, too cute to be a stepmom. Stop. Stop. What do that mean? Now, I understand. We go learn throughout this process and throughout this scene that, you know, she played a stepmom to one of her other relationships. Maybe her ex, I think it was. Yeah. But listen here, if she's so cute and too cute, she wouldn't be on Ready to Love. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to go with the cards that's dealt. And truth be told, we don't believe nothing Kat is saying. 
Mm-hmm. We believe for the past three episodes that maybe even four episodes, Cat been on the longest interview we ever seen on on <laughs> in life. Cat <laughs> is answering all the right questions. Do you see yourself with this company within twenty five years? Yes. Mm-hmm. I see myself here in Wendy's for the next twenty five years. <laughs> I love Wendy's. And that's all she that's and that's what we're about to see. Mm-hmm. We're about to see Cat continue on with her four part interview. Mm-hmm. Oh, just trying to make it to the end, to the finale. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But go ahead. Kat shares that Marie co-parents really well okay. with his ex. Mm-hmm. And Monica is saying, how well is that? Mm, come on, What Monica. exactly does that mean? Come through, Monica. And Kat doesn't know because she ain't been asking questions. She just been trying to be easy so she can be here at this point. Collecting rocks and stuff. Marie eventually comes in. What's up, Marie? They're talking, and he shares that he wants to live abroad and is working on dual citizenship in Ghana and Sierra Leone. That's weird, but I hear you. Marie says uh, he would have his son come with him. The son is 10 years old, and he plans to have the son come with him full time. Stop right there. Marie sounds like a man that is full of idea. He's an idealist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um. W- no one asks him what is he gonna be doing overseas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I guess What's like your plan. His whole thing is, which is kind of which is kind of wild when you think about it. He said, "Well, since you like to travel, mm-hmm. um, I'm thinking about getting dual citizen. Wait, wait, wait a minute, dual citizenship <laughs> the same. and traveling is <laughs> totally two different things. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Apples and oranges. You know what I mean? Or or whatever it's called. You know." Mm-hmm. So, 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 or tomatoes are apples, whatever. But my whole point is when he said this, Kat was like, yeah. And mm-hmm. guess what? I'm just going to have to travel back and forth, you know? And I'm like, oh, y'all millionaires. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'll move there. For what? What's, what's there for you? Mm-hmm. And that's what cousin was saying too. She was saying, but you won't know anybody. No. Uh, she didn't bring up the whole work thing, but it's just, I think Kat also has her own like eyelash esthetician business on top of being a nurse. So it's just kind of like, what, what, what are we talking about for real? We just, we <laughs> just, we just vibe. We just talking. Exactly. Like they are just vibing and just feeling each other and just whatever Marie say, like it's to the point where I, when you really think about it, I don't know nothing about Kat. Mm-hmm. Because everything that Kat says that she likes is always after somebody said it first. Mm-hmm. So I really don't know what Kat's standard is. I really don't know what she wants to do. Only thing that I know is that um, at most, I remember her saying, I'm good with not having kids. Um, if we have kids, that's cool. But if we don't, I'm cool with that too. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I don't know about Kat. And the only thing I know is that she's into spirituality because Marie is. She's willing to live overseas um, because Marie is willing to. She, she, she is, it's just like, I don't really know Kat. She's just going through this interview, going through the motions of whatever Marie say. I just want him to choose me. She's in, she's in choose me mode right now. Yeah. Continue. And cousin asks about the relationship between the baby mom and Marie. I mean, the cousin's asking all the right questions. Why Kat hasn't been asking these questions? I mean, I guess she just doesn't want to rock the boat. I mean, these are the questions to ask. I got to come in for my little five minute cameo (laughs) and basically do what you was supposed to do these past four episodes. Mm -hmm. I got to ask these questions about the baby mother. And that's actually a good question, because first of all, which baby mother or mother or good mother of that will will let you, I don't want to say kidnap, but just <laughs> pick up their son and move to freaking Africa. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with Africa. I love Africa. I love my mm-hmm. people. But 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 my whole point is like full custody? Mm-hmm. No, I feel like I feel like they both Cat is in interview mode with Marie and Marie is in interview mode with Monica. And Monica just trying to see who's the real slim shady between these two. <laughs> because like he had every answer that basically like oh you have an answer for everything i actually remember growing up in like whenever you're in trouble with your parents and you're just trying to explain your way chris you got an answer for everything mm. so as soon as he said i'm moving abroad i know in his mind he wasn't thinking about his kid but the minute somebody brought it up what about your kid oh yeah i'm gonna have full custody <laughs> how do, that's how he comes across like, to me like he's just kind of winging it as he goes along how, nothing feels planned how do you know you could get that uh-huh for a one if the mother's amazing or if the mother's good and plus on top of that like you know we go get into basically unless uh unless we're not we go get into it to to when monica asks hey how you know your baby mother would go with this mm-hmm. 
what is the relationship between you and your baby mother? Like, how how do you know she's so willing? Yeah. And then he goes on to say, like, I know this going to sound crazy to say, but, you know, I got her in control. I'm like, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the train is off the track with this guy right here, man. Go ahead, Blair. Well, Mario shares that him and his ex-wife do everything together. And mm-hmm. he specifically says according to their son, mm-hmm. whether it's school meetings, mm-hmm. games, whatever the case is, they're always together doing stuff together. Now, that is very good in supporting uh, their child and having both parents there for everything. Possibly. But it can be concerning for a partner um, to know and be able to shift through. Well, do you just be chilling at the house? Well, he's there with the mom. Like, how how exactly involved is this? Y'all go grocery shopping every Sunday together? Like, that sounds a little more coupley than showing up for the kid. Mari says they've been split for seven years. Uh huh. And um, like Chris was saying about how do you know you're gonna get full custody? Where and he says that he has full control over his home. Yeah, and that's the crazy thing because she asked them also. Like, what if the kid don't like cat? Mm-hmm. What if the baby mother don't like cat? You know, mm-hmm. and he's just giving the, you know, it's the ultimate interview. He's not having a conversation. It didn't feel like a conversation. Mm-hmm. Whenever you want to interview one of these low paying minimum wage jobs, it's not a conversation. It's almost begging. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and you're just there answering whatever question they have. They can ask you anything. Do you like burgers? I love burgers. Do do you like opening up in the morning? I love the mornings, and and that's what and that's what he's basically doing because he's so in need, or it comes off as he's so. It's not even he's in need. I feel like he just want to win. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, and that's and that's what it comes off as. So when somebody asks good questions, he comes with, "Oh, I got my baby mother, I got my ex wife, whoever she is, in check. Mm-hmm. I got her in check." Oh. If my kid don't like him, first of all, in this house, we show respect. You know, I'm like, like, <laughs> what do that mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, boy. Yeah. So cousin was turned off by this control narrative he had going. Wrong, wrong word to use, brother. Yeah. She has them both stand up. Oh, boy. And he is much shorter than Kat. She wants to know, does she, this bother you? She had her shoes on, man. <laughs> he said he can climb trees. Mm. It, it don't bother him nothing. And at the end of it, he is still unsure of which way to go. Um, When Marie leaves, the cousin shares with Kat that the baby mama situation really bothers her, Mm -hmm. as well as the whole living abroad. Yeah. Uh, She really doesn't think that they're an ideal couple. Listen here, man. Go back to your ex, man. Like, like, go back. It is so crazy to me that when you hear these people that talk about co-parenting, they talk about how great their relationship is Mm -hmm. after they break up. I'm like, if the relationship's so great, just get back together. And we do everything together. Just get back together. I'm sure. I'm sure it's cheaper. Mm-hmm. I'm sure like the cost of living would be cheaper. So like this whole idea, you don't gotta oversell it. You ain't gotta say, oh me, me, and my baby mom, we best friends. You ain't gotta oversell it. Mm-hmm. You get know what I'm saying? And that's what I feel like. A just to be safe, I don't think we could take this guy at his word about how much control he think he has, and so forth. So, like Monica said, I think like that 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 troubles me, and I and 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 I don't think um, you're ready to love with Marie. Mm. And as a friend, some people may say she came off as abrasive, maybe rude, but um, you need friends like that. Yeah, you need friends like that 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 will come through and ask the hard questions. Because Cat definitely wasn't asking no questions at all. She wasn't having him expound on nothing. No. Absolutely nothing. So even as something as simple as height, she like we have a tall family, mm-hmm. like basically like. And so I feel like that was a good scene, you know. But um, I don't see it. Continue. Yeah. Aries, she has her mom and her sister meeting Phil. Uh huh. And mom asked about his leadership qualities. Whoa, now this this I need I need you to pace and space this one, Blake. This was a loaded question that Phil didn't know he was walking into. Yeah, pace pace <laughs> and space this. He said that he's going to speak to his partner, his lady, before mm-hmm. making a decision. Mm-hmm. He wants to collaborate. He doesn't feel the need to make decisions or make moves without having the other person on board and sounding like they have to be agreeable to what he wants to do. Now, on now to the naked ear, that sounds like a great answer. We are going to work together to come up to a decision. Mm-hmm. But I think Phil didn't know who he was meeting with 
or even the background of where they come from. Mm-hmm. And that kind of lets me know, because when he gave that answer, before we even got the reactions, Aries is her name? Yeah. She dropped her head in the confession like, ooh. Yeah. And I'm like, then what do y'all be talking about? Like, you ain't give me no spark notes before <laughs> I met your mom? Like, like we had this, like, we just can't be talking about Too Short and West Coast music. Mm-hmm. Like, like. And the vibes. And truth be told. <laughs> What did, like, you feel about that answer? Like, don't go off the reaction. When, like, you first heard that answer, what what was your reaction, Blair? I cringed at it a little bit, Why? honestly. Um, because I am of the belief that there should be a leader, and I do think that the man should be the leader. Um, I... He said collaborate. I know he said collaborate. Mm-hmm. And, but I wish he would have said, well... Because they asked him about his leadership qualities. Mm-hmm. He didn't even speak to that at all. Like, at all. To me, it sounded like, I'm just going to see what she wants to do. And then we can kind of just do whatever she wants to do. Mm. And it's like, you one, it sounds like you don't have leadership qualities because you didn't answer the question. Possibly, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And two, yes, it's good to communicate with your partner, come to an understanding. But that doesn't show or tell us how you lead. Okay. And with Aries having two boys, um, the way it sounds that she was raised with her dad, you know, she needs somebody who's going to take the reins and be the stability and lead the family. And honestly, that's that's my belief system as well. Question then. Question. Mm -hmm. Question. Then judge. Then judge my answer. Then. Okay. Judge my answer. If the mother was to ask me that. Mm-hmm. What if I was to say, um, when it comes to leading, I'm the leader. I make all of the decisions. Mm-hmm. Like everything runs through me. I, 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 I take the blame if things go wrong. And when things go good, I just want to make sure things are good. Is that too strong the other way? Of saying like basically like I make all the decisions, I do everything. It is not a collaborative effort. Like like basically what I feel like that's too far the other way. Then then what is the right answer that he could have gave because to me it sounded like he gave a safe answer and and, I, and to me it, it sounded like it, it didn't sound genuine it sounded very generic yeah it sounded very um you know how we live in this cancel culture mm-hmm. you give an answer that you can't be canceled for on tv mm-hmm. besides of saying i'm a man sorry okay. you know what i mean <laughs> but, but besides him banging the table saying i'm a man i lead my family you know what i mean mm-hmm. he kind of went with the whole like you know i don't want to overpower her Mm -hmm. You know, I want to make it a collaborative thing to where, like, if she have an idea, like, that's cool. If I have an idea, we come together, boom, boom, boom. That's a safe answer. But, like, what, why is my answer, my example is too far? What is the right answer that basically should have been given? Well, I feel like the right answer would have been, well, as a leader, I'm going to, you know, make sure that um, whatever decisions need to be made for the household, you know, I'm going to make the best decisions for Mm -hmm. my family. Um, if there are things that we have to sacrifice, I'll sacrifice first before they have to. I mean, there's all these different examples of ways that you can put yourself in a position to lead your family. Mm -hmm. Um, not even touching on decision-making and conversations, but to be able to say like, of course I want to collaborate and talk with my lady, but I ultimately know that the responsibility of the family lands on my shoulders and I'm going to do what's best for us all. You know, rather than saying I'm the man and not, and we going to do what I want to do. It's really talking about the consideration and the weight of being the leader that you could have explained. We go touch back on that. Well, what about you? No, continue. And Keep then, going? and then I'll, and, and then it all, it all go tie in. It's okay. all, it's all go tie in. Yeah. So fa- for Aries family, that was the worst answer he could have given. Mm. <laughs> they then ask him if he's Christian, if pace, he goes to church. Pace and space this part right here because it's all, I think it's all going to tie in this gumbo right here. Okay. He doesn't go to church, mm. but he believes in God. Stop right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you already lost. You already lost right there, buddy. Right. I don't know what y'all be talking about, but Aries didn't tell you about her mother at all. Mm-hmm. Or anything of that, of anything of that ilk. The the mother is coming off. First of all, it's Texas, so you know it's Bible Belt and things like that. And before, like, he went to the reason why I say we come back to it. I wonder if the mother came in based on what Aries told her, or based on what she told her family. Like, basically, is her question 
about leadership basically a shot at his stability based on whatever Aries possibly could have told her mother. I don't feel that way. I think so. I, I think there is no answer that he could have gave in that moment unless it unless it solved the insecurity of the security that Aries needed to fill. Hmm. That's why I'm like, the answer he gave is not the worst answer in the world. To me, I think their values when it comes to like men and the leaders in their family oh. is, okay. is a certain way. And I think she was trying to see if the way that they structured their family and their values as a family aligned with where he was at. So could it have been Aries told her mom and her sister certain things about him? Yes, but I don't think they were necessarily on the defense with him. I think they were saying these things are important to us in a man when it comes to leading a family. Mm -hmm. So we need to know, um, are you Christian? Is okay. God and Jesus the head? I do agree. You know? I do agree with your point on that point. Mm -hmm. But the next question that the mother asks, which we get down to the bottom, but don't but don't skip. I think. That would disprove your point, but but like go ahead about the uh, Jesus and 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 like the Christianities. Yeah, that's their value. So yeah. they want to make sure that the man that Aries is with shares those same values. True, true, true. So that was a question directly at their value system. The same thing is about the leadership. The dad, which we find out later on, he was a professional baseball player. To me, that sounds like the family was probably very well taken care of. Depends, depends. So, so I think that leadership and the strength and, you know, all that type of stuff um, goes into back into their value system. I don't think they were attacking Phil. They just wanted to make sure, do you align with the type of man Aries should be with? And that goes to when the sister, you know, further forward said, um, what would your dad? Wait, 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 wait. Don't get there okay. yet. Don't, don't, don't skip. Okay. Go, go straight down because I'm about to disprove this whole theory. And, and basically, I think, I think I'm right. Okay. Well, let me move forward. Go ahead with the Jesus. He said that his practices most resemble Buddhism. Whoa, buddy. And she says uh, that their family is Christian based. Mm -hmm. Mom says we love men and we love men to lead. Mom asked him to pray over the food. And he said, I, he I, said yeah, I, I can pray. pray. I pray over the food. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, he says, amen. Mom says, in, in Jesus', Jesus name, name, amen. amen. Mm -hmm. We not amen to whoever the hell you talk about. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> now, he, he did say, look, I have no problem praying over the food. Like, I pray, I pray over the food. Like, that don't, that don't mean anything. Mm -hmm. But right now, to say, matter of fact, continue on. Because I already see what you about to say. Go ahead. Go ahead and say it. Mom next asked him about financial stability. Stop right there. That's what made me think all of this was on the defense. Okay. Because to ask that, it makes it seem like Aries was talking to her mom and her sister. And it all comes down to basically the overall insecurity or the overall thing that make Aries feel questionable about Phil. Mm -hmm. It's the financial stability. That word. That, that word stability. And as a leader, there's nothing that he could have gave. There's no answer he could have gave. Unless it solved that question specifically, in my opinion, okay. I understand that, you know, we want to know your values. But at the end of the day, my daughter's been saying for the past three episodes or four episodes, which I think behind the scenes, she she gave her mother the, the spark notes on Phil, mm -hmm. you know, um, a I'm worried about his stability. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to men's stability, then that's when that le that's when that leadership word or like that leadership question is kind of loaded. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to answer it because I don't really know what angle you're attacking it from. In my opinion, I think he was attacking it from, uh, or basically the way that they meant it was, what is your financial stability? Mm -hmm. And there's no answer. The minute that he included Aries in his answer, when when their whole angle, in my opinion, was financial stability, he lost them. Mm -hmm. Because what he said in the answer wasn't too crazy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the worst thing that you could say to somebody. To where it's like, hey, when I want to make a decision, I want to collaborate with my partner. That's not a that's not the worst thing. You know what I'm saying? The worst thing for some people is I don't talk to my partner about anything. We straight cover the show that to where the wife had a problem with the husband doing things and not telling her anything. He, the man went back to school. He wanted to buy a gym. And she's like, talk with me. Collaborate with me. You get <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't think it has nothing to do with, with, with like we want to know your values to see if it aligned. I think our questions is to basically get to one issue. Are you stable? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Are you stable? So they ask questions, in my opinion, that's loaded 
of like what are your leadership qualities mm-hmm. and the minute it starts saying well me and Eris and the minute he included her lost right and then when the mother asked outright what is the financial stability he gave the wrong the worst answer that was the worst answer than like the leadership answer yeah the man said I'm an aspiring comic yeah. I haven't been on the stage for a while but you know mm-hmm. and I'm like first of all know your generations okay <laughs> mom is from that generation to where it's like go get a real job don't be on that mic stand talking to folks yeah. you know what i mean so so that's why i'm like i felt like they already came in where phil was already in the negatives and he had to get himself out of it he ain't coming on zero he came in like on negative 10 mm-hmm. and he didn't do enough to or even answer that one question about stability mm-hmm. um because at the end of the day they can just be like, you going to marry a comic? Mm-hmm. You going to try to be with a comic? Mm-hmm. That's not even what he do now. That's not even how he make his money right now. Yeah. So that's why I don't even know why he brought that up. What did like? What did you think about that part? Yeah. I think that that speaks to Phil just not being stable. And oh. I think that's why it gets under his skin when she brings it up. And okay. how he doesn't want to address it and get into the details. Mm-hmm. Because I think he knows he's not stable. Even when we met Phil's family. And Aries was asking about stability. When she left, the his family members were asking, well, do you think the stability thing is going to get in the way? Mm. I mean, if they're asking that, clearly they know something. They do, I mean, they if know stability something. wasn't an issue, then they wouldn't have even mentioned it. That's facts. So, yeah. So I, I felt like Phil... I really wish they would have went into detail about stability. Yeah. They didn't get deep into questions and answers. But, Mm-mm. yeah. But Phil, he to me, it sounds like he's not stable. He gets offended when people question his stability mm-hmm. because it sounds like he is all over the place. Um, and, I mean, if that's the case... That's fine. Be with somebody who's okay with that. Yeah. But for them at the age he's at. Yeah. Th- and the mother came for him and said, I think you're a little too old to be doing <laughs> some stand up, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and granted, you got green in your beard. I understand. Mm-hmm. But it, it, it's. The resp- and then the responsibilities he would have with Aries, if they came together, they would have three kids on their hands. Yeah. And for him to answer the question about financial stability to say, I'm going to be a stand up comic sister asks, is that lucrative? And he says, well, not when you're first getting started. I mean, I haven't been on the stage in a while. Bro, bro, so then you, what is making you money? Like, you, why are you asking, answering a question about finances with something that don't make you money? You are self, you are self destructing as you <laughs> speak. And that's, and that's why I'm like, there's, there was no grace with mm-hmm. any of his answers. Of even trying to see the good in it. I think the worst answer that he could have gave or the worst the worst response he gave was about the comic. Mm-hmm. To me, that the leadership thing, I didn't think it was bad. She had to tell me that was a bad answer. Because mm-hmm. when I heard it, I'm like, that's a safe answer. Even though when I hear guys get that answer, I'd be like, you know, guys, most guys don't live by that. Mm-hmm. Most guys don't be collaborating with their partner. They make a decision and then they basically... They ask for uh, forgiveness. They don't ask for permission. Mm. So basically, Phil was like, hey, listen, I asked for permission first. Collaborate. You know, and so that's why I'm like, it goes the other way. And then eventually, I think I think we at the end of the date to where Phil leaves eventually, mm-hmm. right? And then the sister says something which I did not approve of. Even though, like, it's, like people can look at it and, like, be like, oh, like, that could be true. Like, what would your father say mm-hmm. um, about him? Yeah. Stop. That's manipulative in my eyes. Because in my eyes, I'm like, we don't talk about the dead and things of that nature. It's, Aries is, for one, she's on the show. Number two, we don't even know the prior situation to where she got two kids. So I'm like, the father probably would have said a whole bunch of things. We exactly. don't Exactly. She's grown, grown. Exactly. She's lived and like, divorced twice. Like, I'm let's like, not I'm, get into that. Exactly. So that's why I'm like, I don't even she understand. She clearly makes her own decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, 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 We're having a passionate yeah, exactly. episode. So, so that's why I'm like, don't use that. And like, I know like some people probably would have used that. Like, mm, yeah, that's a good point. To me, I'm like, never do that. Yeah. Never do that. Especially when, when mom's sitting right here. Exactly. I'm like, mom is right here. <laughs> what would dad say? Dad is dead. Mom, <laughs> what do you say? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not saying that to be disrespectful mm-hmm. as someone who has dead parents themselves. I'm saying like people usually say that to manipulate to make you basically do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. It's a manipulative tactic to where I'm supposed to talk to the dead and try to think what they would say. I don't know what he would have said. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The only thing I can go by is how he raised us. 
but even how he raised us can be different to how I want to live my life because I'm grown. I'm not a kid anymore. To, and she's grown, grown. To your point, but mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying. So that's why I'm like, I ain't like that big sis said that. But you know, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Go ahead. Next, we move on to Jessica and her cousin Miracle. What's up, Miracle? And she is or Merkel. It was different spelling to the cousin yes to the mm-hmm. cousin so marie is there to meet with them you ain't like how marie came in dress oh yeah i just don't like all them stripes on him it's not it's not the stripes i think it's the shorts and in the short sleeve like where they at look like it was like a nice place and maybe like in texas and different areas like uh-huh. when whenever it's a dinner like it, it looked like he wasn't going to a a nice dinner he wasn't dressed to impress hmm Mm-hmm. He can impress me if that was homecoming, if mm-hmm. that was picnic. Yeah. And 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 truth be told, it have nothing to do with um. I think I'm being. I'm being I'm being motivated to view Marie this way, and I think he's motivating me to view him this way. Uh-huh. He's not a bum, but he's like a couple know. stages above. So, like, for example, uh-huh. it, it's a dinner. you like, supposed to meet with somebody that's important. Jessica's dress, beautiful. She had a beautiful black dress. Mm-hmm. The cousin's dress, beautiful. Nice satin. Na- exactly. Mm-hmm. And he comes in shorts, in a, in, in a, in a short sleeve shirt set. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you do be saying you be waking up at 12. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 it's like you're not in tune with, like, like wear slacks, wear wear a dress shirt, yeah, like it, it, a button up, or, or even dress- how Quentin was dressed on his date. Like he looked not a nice little sweater and slacks or is whatever. That, like dre- like Quentin mm-hmm. is well put together. Yeah, but Maria, it just seemed like it was a. Here's here's the thing. I I done talk my way and 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 basically talk myself into the answer. I felt like he didn't take it seriously. Mm. I, I I felt like. It was just a casual thing to him. Man, you about to meet Jessica, one of my champions, number one. And number two, <laughs> like, this person, as Tommy gave the soliloquy in the beginning, like, this per- like this is a connection. This is a real thing. Like, 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 I just felt like it was, based on how you were dressed, it was taken lightly. Yeah. But the date haven't started yet. I'm just judging how he dressed. That's all. Mm-hmm. That don't mean anything. Right. Well, Jessica chose to bring this cousin because she has a child mm-hmm. and she is divorced. Facts. Uh, which I I appreciated learning the reason for why she brought her cousin. I feel like with some other people, they might have brought him because I was like their favorite cousin or something like that. But I like that she said my, this person has life experience mm. and she just kind of would probably have a wider and broader view to show me some things I might be missing. Will you say that Jessica is cerebral that she is like you know smart and i would say uh, absolutely intelligent. exactly yeah. and not uh uh combative no no absolutely no no, no, not no. Combative. no cold no yeah. no 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 but um, no no combative no not cold wrong I, c word i feel warm okay. when i see jessica okay, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead continue well we find out jessica doesn't cook uh um, marie would be doing most of the cooking uh, Marie's short-term goals are getting a restaurant again by the end of the year. Again, now what do you mean again? He Apparently, had- he had one. Mm-hmm. But we never asked Marie questions to learn anything <laughs> more. So, <laughs> what happened? Did it shut down? First of all, did I- you sell it? Was there a health inspection issue? Was it an yeah. actual restaurant? Was it a truck? First of all, I don't even know. Was it su- selling uh, banana bread out the house? I didn't even know he we was a know. chef. So all this is news to me. He like, well, you know, I get a restaurant. I'm like, man, you are like a jack of many trades. Like, I didn't know you were a chef or like you're a cook and things like that. Well, mm-hmm. he may not be a chef. He probably just cook real good. Mm-hmm. So, Jessica, I'm listening here. I went the whole episode without criticizing you. And I'm going to continue to go the whole episode without criticizing you. The no cooking thing, yeah, that's honest. That's, that's honest. You, you ain't talking to a skinny man right here. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? You talking to a guy who who basically get his uh who get his nutrition from vitamins. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like 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 he don't get it from the natural things that come from the earth. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? 
he go take that multivitamin and he's like, I'm good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got that fish oil pill. I'm good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I straight have this little, uh, I have this Flintstone pill. I'm good. Exactly. Forget you know? a vegetable. Exactly. No, we don't need that. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, but, um, continue, Blake. Go ahead. Yeah. So the cousin is asking him, well, if you're wanting to open up a restaurant, and that is a short term goal. I mm-hmm. mean, you're not going to have a lot of time. Like, are you guys going to have time for each other? Because Jessica's also I, really busy. I got an answer for that, cousin. He's hoping he'll have a floor manager for the restaurant so he won't have to be there. Wow. So you're going to have a floor manager as soon as you open up this restaurant? Possibly. And you're also going to be living in Sierra Leone? The restaurant will be there. <laughs> I got I listen, I got answers for you. Keep 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 asking me questions. Go ahead. Oh boy. I wish people would ask you more details about these things. And guess what? I got all the details for you, sister girl. Okay. Go ahead, continue. Uh she's uh cousin also asked Jessica if she had time for Marie in in a relationship. And she says people make time for what's important. That's true. That wasn't a good enough answer for me. You don't think so? No. Explain. That's very generic. Do you, Jessica, have time? For Marie. What? Yes or no? Her saying people make time for what's important. So is he important? Is this relationship important? Yeah, Are you willing maybe. to cut down on work for him? No, no. I felt like that was too generic. She says people make time for what's important. That doesn't personalize it to me. Now, I'm asking you a, a personal question. Now, Jessica actually have a business. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe it's a coffee business. Yeah. And things like that. They've been featured on the news, been featured in Target, all, all the above. So I'm not saying Marie is is faking till you making, but um, but maybe here's the thing. I'm gonna be honest. They both faking it to me. I look, look. I don't see the I, connection. Like, like I'm 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 trying I'm trying to I'm trying to give my champion something to hold on to a rope to pull. But I'm just like, she's basically like you know like he cool. <laughs> like, 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 Pretty much. like 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 that's that's that, that's basically every answer but in long form so yeah. so with her saying that that people make time to what's important to them and so forth some of that ilk she's basically just saying he cool you know like you know he cool mm-hmm. that, that that that's basically what you know that's basically what she's saying but continue well, they get to talking about marriage and uh-huh. Marie would like to be married within two to three years. Okay. He says he yearns for that kind of love. Ooh, I like that. Yearning. Yeah. And yeah. Jessica is excited to see what the future holds. Mm, he, the man went gap band on her. He's yearning for her love. <laughs> I Listen here. I can see why. That's mm-hmm. one of my champions. Continue. Mm. Uh, so Marie leaves and he says, you know, he feels confident. No, oh, no, he's still sitting there and he says it in front of the cousin that he feels confident with him and Jessica's connection, even though he has another connection. He's very confident in theirs. And the cousin, when she gets with Jessica alone, says that she can see them together. Listen, man, cousin, I I brought the wrong cousin. Mm-hmm. OK, M- listen here. Monica from Cat need to be the uh the cousin of everybody. Exactly. Ask- She's the one who gets the answer. She needs to ask questions. <laughs> And I felt like she would have asked better questions than Jessica's cousin, and they not even related. Mm-hmm. She would ask some questions, especially when she was brought to that restaurant. Mm-hmm. Because for one, we would have asked what happened to the first one, and, yes. and maybe it got shut down. And and then we would have asked some questions like, where would it be located? You have to do a citizenship. I mean, you'd be like, I got a floor manager. I got a floor manager. I don't have to be there. You get what I'm saying? It's just it's just a lot of things that is that is very. Y'all make fun of Phil about stability, but Marie sound the most unstable person on the show to me. Mm. And I'm like, Phil, there's something we don't know about Phil, for sure. Yeah. There's something we don't know about Phil. Like, I felt like Aries put it in my head that, like, he's he's unstable, he's unstable, he's unstable, he's unstable. And now I'm just regurgitating what she's saying. I didn't see it, and I and I don't think I still see it. But because I hear it so much, when I see Phil, I think of like, oh my goodness. No, but it's based off things he said. It's not just this comic conversation. But I understand. But it's like, but the things that he said, it just sounds like the way I took it, it sounded like a guy that tried a lot of things and basically fell into what he's doing now. Because he mm-hmm. said he works as a he works in the supply chain and things like that. He worked mm-hmm. in that field. So to me, it sounded like, hey, I tried this. I tried this. I tried this. I had a dry cleaner. I tried this. I was a comic, but now I'm doing supply chain. Mm-hmm. And I, in my eyes, I'm like, okay, like he, he ain't, he ain't twenty. 
Mm-hmm. He just had a lot of jobs. He tried a lot of things, and now he's actually doing something that actually yields something to him. I didn't take that as, oh, you do a lot. Well, I guess for me, why I took it that way is because for him to be as old as he is, and I think he's in his 40s. I think he's like early 40s. I think he's probably the same age as Janelle, maybe. Okay. Um, I would think that within the past five years, he would have been able to find something and stick with it. Okay. Or, or something to where that's like lucrative. I don't know. To me, it sounds like he's... What's, what's, what's lucrative? Um, to be able to support, you know, himself and a woman and, uh, and children if he needed to. To me, it sounds like he would be very dependent on Aries. Dependent as in like... Financially. She, as in like he can't live without a dependent? Yeah. If they were to have all their kids get, together. I don't get that. I don't know why. I do not get that. Yeah. I do not get that. But but know. but go ahead, continue, because I think some will come out about them, too. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we can move on. And we'll just go ahead and go with Q and Janelle first. So Q chooses Janelle. Of course. Janelle chooses Q. Of course. Oh, don't, don't, don't move past it. I want to clap for my champion, man. I've been championing you this whole episode. You're one of our favorite characters on the show. I speak for uh, yourself, our, our household. I'm the leader, so I speak for <laughs> us. Okay, I, uh, I speak for us, and um, it's actually been a pleasure and an honor covering you, Janelle. Thank you. I'll tell you one thing: she's kept the season interesting. Because if it wasn't for her, we would have had a lot of boring moments. It was 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 this one of the better seasons of Ready to Love? No, really. Yeah. So so when I get into so I am the guy that starts watching the show, and this becomes one of the worst seasons of. of <laughs> This is the second show that that basically we watched the ultimatum. And I was like, "Blade, this is what you like," and you're like, "Trust me, it's don't it don't be like this." And now it's ready to love, and you're like, "This is not one of the better seasons. It's this not. probably this probably one of the bottom seasons." So 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 it's me. <laughs> okay, I need to remove myself again from watching. You just these need shows. to hop on the train sooner. That's all. Listen here, Janelle did keep it. Listen, she was the star. She kept everything interesting. Love it or hate it, you watch. You rather love the watcher as we did, or 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 you hate watching her. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Go ahead and give us uh, Marie and uh, and Jessica. Yes. Yeah, so Marie is standing on the bridge. Yeah. We don't know exactly who is going to come to meet up with him. Mm-hmm. And we see in a beautiful black dress. Beautiful. Jessica. Yeah, yeah. And Marie chooses her and she chooses him right and back. And Marie, you look good in that suit, man. That's that's what I mean. You get like, what I'm saying? And I'm saying Marie is not an unattractive guy. Like he can pull himself together and it's just some of his choices. And I get it. I mean, we all don't hit 10 out of 10 every day. But I'm just like, come on, man. Like, pull it together mm-hmm. on camera. No. <laughs> Let me clap for my other tag team champion. Okay. Shout out to Jessica. I I, I, I enjoyed reviewing you throughout the show. Defending you from the propaganda of the show. Of basically demeaning you and calling you things that is not true to you or black women. I, I, I Listen, I feel like I did a good job defending black women on the show. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, now, is, is there anything else you want to share about about Jessica and Marie? No. Okay. Now let's let's get to this. This was this was loaded. This this caught me out of the blue. This caught me by surprise. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Well, Phil and Aries. Uh huh. Phil has roses for Aries. Nice. And he also has an additional gift, which mm. is a baseball with a heart stitched into it. Beautiful gift. Uh, Aries father was a professional baseball player yeah. and he wanted to share this special item with her. Mm-hmm. He chooses her. Of course. And Aries face dropped Whoa. to me. I was like, uh, this don't look good. <laughs> she did not look happy to me. Aries decided to choose herself. Whoa. She said there are certain <coughs> things she needs in order for her to respect her man. Whoa. Aries wants to leave it as a friendship. And she tells us in the confessional that the type of leader she needs is not Phil. Now, let's start right there. Now, now we already at we already at 40 plus minutes. We can go on this for another 20 minutes. Respect was the first time I heard that word when it came to them, too. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Do you feel like before I get to my soliloquy that Aries went too far? In her description of why she said no about Phil. Do you think it was a, too far? And don't let me. Uh, I don't. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
Go ahead. I don't think she went too far. I feel like she was being honest. Mm -hmm. Even if it, I don't even feel like it was brutally honest. Maybe really? because he's a man and a man can be sensitive about like respect and, mm -hmm. and dignity and all that type of stuff. I mean, but I mean, it is important. <laughs> <laughs> I say it is but important. But guys can be extremely sensitive too. I feel like women get disrespected every day. Okay. Um, but men can be very like, <laughs> you know feel like their manliness is lost if people disrespect them yeah it's, that's exactly what she said like that's literally what she said okay okay she, she i mean the thing that you say like yeah men feel this way she literally said that word for word okay well can i finish okay go thank ahead. you <laughs> but yeah i feel like it's true i feel like if the man that you have you don't feel like he's a hard worker uh if he's a certain age and he's not stable and you got kids mm -hmm. and you need stability then yes, you're not going to be able to be in a relationship and be attracted to and love somebody that you don't feel like is putting in the work for the family or is leading the way that you would respect and want uh, a man for you to lead. So if Phil has a different way of doing things, it doesn't make him any less of a man, but he's not the man for Aries. Here's the thing. Aries, you have every right to... We they they know something we don't. Something and, and, and guess what? It's gonna come out in the rinse and the wash and whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe in a reunion. Because respect, like like you was getting your feet rubbed. You was over there laughing with me. That don't mean she respects you. That means so, he, so, so he like, been trailing around her like a puppy, so, nipping uh, at her toes you all see day. What I mean? And this and and and, and 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 you got the nerve to say men get sensitive about the respect. No, respect is a real thing. <laughs> and when and when and when you're not respected, they say things like nipping at my heels <laughs> like a puppy. Like like my whole thing is she literally said, and granted, she said her, we all know her father was based on what she tell us that her father was a professional baseball player. That mm -hmm. does not mean that he played in the big leagues that just means that he what he he got paid to play baseball because there's double a there's single a there's triple a and then there's the big mlb major league baseball okay so we don't know if he was even like the star of of a baseball team or even like in the major leagues i think everything had to come down to money i really do i honest to god do and i think because he haven't displayed his W two. It 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 all it all a jumble of not, I can't I can't respect you and you're not the leader that I am because Phil is nice. You get what I'm saying? He's not mean. Mm -hmm. Phil is nice. Phil makes a laugh. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But because I feel like this instability and they both didn't do a good job of like explaining what that really is, especially Phil. Phil over here is saying she feels like. I'm unstable and she got these feelings and that's a personal issue. And I'm like, she talking about you, brother. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> because she, because of that, I felt like she went too far with respect. Mm. And Phil had to sit there. You can see him just sitting there taking it. His eyes was kind of like droopy in a way. We, with me, I would have walked away immediately. Like, I ain't got to sit here for the speech. Maybe I'm mean, but I'm like, if it hits you like that, you need to step your cookies up. No, because at the end of the day, like, you... You can literally just be like, um, no, um, you could be like, no, I choose myself. Um, I only see it as a friendship. I don't really see it anything going further than that. You could leave a short and sweet. But when she went into like, basically like, you're not the man that can lead me and, and like a man and, and like, I need a man that I can respect. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. This is getting kind of personal. This like, like now you're not even attacking what I do. You're attacking like basically my character of who I am mm -hmm. and you're combining them to basically like, because you don't like what I do or or the things that I do. You feel like you can't respect me. And I'm like, dang. But not as a person. She said she respected him as a person. I mean, but that's but, but just not as a man in a relationship. But that's a cover up, though, because I don't think it's, a cover -up. It, it, it's a cover up because people say that. So they don't look too evil and too mean. So, like, what does that mean? Like, oh, yeah, I, I definitely respect you as a human. Like, OK, sure. You love humans. But personally, I don't respect you in, in a relationship format. I, for you to be my man, I, I, I can't. I can trans. I can transcribe what she means. Okay. Because even Phil was like, so now you don't even respect me. Like, 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 what make you think that you can say you don't respect me and then I still want to be friends with you? 
Like basically, she said empty words. So basically, like yeah, I don't really respect. I you. I feel like I know what she means. It was clear to me, Mm-mm. and I don't take it as she don't respect. She doesn't respect him overall. Listen here, I took it as she basically was mean, but she left it like I don't want y'all to see me as mean. So I'm gonna say something nice that really don't mean anything. Or basically, like yeah, you just I don't respect you as my man. No, you don't respect him as a man. It's a difference. Not not your man as a man. And at that moment, I felt like she went too far. I mm-hmm. felt like she could have just let him down, said no, just leave it at that. But to basically put it like, a hey, you can't leave me. Uh, I don't respect you as a man and things of that nature. I'm like, oh, what happened? Okay. What happened? That kind of takes me back to the mother and the sister conversation. Mm-hmm. I felt like they came in. Like Phil went in thinking like, Everything was going to be easy breezy. Everything going to be even. They came in ready to attack. And but they're he, not hard questions if you have your it, ish together. I, I understand that. But there's no... When someone is on the attack or when somebody comes in basically with their questions already, already on the go, you're already in the defense. Meaning like you can't talk me... You can't talk me off my square when I come in there. And I'm like, there's no answer that Phil could have gave that unless it's the exact answer that I want. And how many times do people hit the exact answer that people want? Not many times. Mm. Not many times. Like, there's there's no such thing as the perfect answer to a question. Mm-hmm. So that's why Phil gave that, which I think was a weak, weak answer. Not a wrong answer, but a weak answer about leadership, about collaborating with his wife, collaborating, things like that. Oh, that's the worst thing you can say to my family. I'm like, what, really? That's the worst thing? He got more things to say. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like. We sit around. He'll say about, something worse. Trust me. <laughs> my man trying to get on Netflix stand up. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, what do you mean that's the worst thing that could have said? Like, like, okay, then tell me what's the right answer. Mm-hmm. And and that's why I'm like, I just don't think they really have a right answer. It's just all stems from that instability. And, and unless you make me feel at the end of this date or at the end of this encounter that you are stabilizing your life. I don't want to go too far. I'm going to wait to the reunion until you're stabilized as in rich. Right, I I feel like please, please for the reunion, mm-hmm. please let Phil tell us what he do and how much he makes a year, because that will solve everything. Mm-hmm. That will solve because if Phil comes out and say yeah, like I even though I'm a supply chain, I make over eighty thousand dollars a year, I'd be like yo, what's the problem with Phil now? He's a bad communicator. Okay, he should have been said this. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what's wrong now. <laughs> like because my thing is my eighty thousand plus whatever you make. We asked you about finances. You talk about you a comic and don't and don't get paid. That was now that's the worst answer the he could get. Now that's the worst answer he could get. He said that with gray in his beard. What the hell? That he said that with gray in his beard. That was the worst thing. I feel like Eric just went too far. I'm not. I, I'm not gonna say she's. I'm not saying she's mean, and I, I'm. I'm not even going too far with how bad she did it. But usually when people say things, they try. They try to hide the fact that they laying you that they laying you down hard by just saying like it's not that I don't respect you as a human i definitely respect you as a human but i don't respect you and i'm just like aries i can read through all that i can transcribe it me and blade don't agree with that but i seen it personally and i'm like you're in this instance you're a mean aries you was you didn't have to say that Mm. that way but guess what to her she can say that because she felt like phil hadn't presented himself to be respected or as a leader you know, it, it, it's just strange. It, it's just strange. We, I think we will find out some things about Eris. And, and, and here's my thing. Not to go on Eris because, you know, she's a black woman and I and I defended black women throughout this whole show. Phil may not have been a good choice. Can you, can, do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. My whole thing is, Aries, you went on a show because you haven't found luck to get it yourself. And more times than not, I'm not saying you have to choose Phil, but more times than not that we see throughout these seasons or throughout this season of why people are single. Mm-hmm. People don't know how to communicate. People jump to conclusions mm-hmm. without asking direct questions. I feel like Eris could have did a better job of asking direct questions. How much you make a year? Yeah. Boom. Get get straight to it. Yeah, you get what get I'm your questions answered. Yeah. You're like, I still don't know. I still don't. I'm yeah. not sure. So, it's, to me, it's just like, well, you don't want to know because you're not really it, asking it, questions. Because you're scared of the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you're scared that man going to say $27,000 a year. And you rather just be with yourself at the end of the day. Yes. I feel and, like. that's, and that's where <laughs> I think I'm like, 
maybe she's not ready to love. Mm-hmm. Maybe. And granted, it just came. We we need to find out the reunion. It just felt like it just came out of nowhere. At first, they riding bikes. And the next thing you know, they having this conversation for three episodes straight. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man. Because to me, Mario sounded the most unstable. He said he wake up at noon. Yeah. Phil didn't say he wake up at noon. He Phil, got two ladies still after him. Exactly. And, I didn't understand and, that. Okay. And Phil, and Phil over here talking about, I have to go and help my son. I have to go to the game. I have to do this. Like, he sounded like he got priorities. Mm-hmm. Like, this is the most bummest that I felt like they made me feel about Phil. And I'm like, I never felt this way about Phil. Mm-hmm. And... Man, shout out to you, Eris, though, for cho- choosing yourself. Phil, shout out to you for eventually choosing yourself. You had no choice. Um, but we're going to find out at the reunion what happened. Anything else on this episode that that, that you want to share or anything overall about the season you want to share, Blair? Not really. I feel like we talked it all out, and I'm ready for the reunion. And hopefully Tommy asked the hard-hitting questions Tommy. because <laughs> none of these people did. Do so your we job, can get, <laughs> So we can get into the business. Listen here. We, we almost had an hour, and... We usually don't preview a trailer or like the trailer for the next episode, but I I just want to bring out some things. I I want to see Chris there next next week. I got I, I got one more clip loaded for Chris. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just one just one more clip. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see uh, Aries and and Phil. Of course, I want to hold. That's definitely going to be a scene in itself because she's the only one that said no. Yeah. I want to see. Um, Janelle and Quinn to see are they still together? Mm-hmm. And then I want to see one more fight, one more round with my champion. Okay, because Tranquilla came there looking ready to start, ready to start something. You was eliminated the second night, I think it was the first, second, third. You was eliminated early, girl. Yeah, and you come there ready. Like what you still mad for? What is? Because that's what that's what my champion does. She make everybody else feel insecure, and in the process of make of y'all feeling insecure by by my champion, y'all be like she's mean and 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 she just angry. Like no, she won't be disrespected. And guess what? I take my respect seriously. I will fight you back here. I will show up at your house and fight you. Janelle, I did not agree with that at all. <laughs> you shouldn't have did that. You could have got shot. Okay. Like, like it's just one of those things. Respect is not something as Blair was trying to gloss over of like, you know, like, oh, you know, we take it too seriously and we get all down about respect. Respect is a serious thing. And Janelle won't be disrespected. And I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. Tranquilla, I don't even know why you angry. I honestly don't even know why. I know you ain't fighting no, for no man. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. You fighting for yourself still? I don't, I don't I even really know why, don't you know doing why that. she's fighting. I don't even know that. I know why Janelle is fighting because somebody's trying to fight her. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, Janelle, take those shoes off. Get ready to throw them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> get ready to throw them. Let loose. Anything else? No. Y'all be good. Bye.